This might take two minutes from your 24 hours. But mark my words it's going to be very helpful and important. First of all, living in the end is thinking from the premises of wish fulfilled. I would like to say that we are always living in the end of a state. Inner conversations means those mental conversations we carry on with ourselves. So, simply our inner conversations tells us through which state are we thinking from. Determined imagination, thinking from the end, is beginning of all the manifestations. Thinking from the end is an intense perception of the world of fulfilled desire. There's no stopping the person who is having inner conversations from the end. Make your inner conversations match your fulfilled desires. What you desire to hear outside, you must first hear inside yourself. Observe your inner conversations as it is the cause of the future. Again, inner conversations reveal the state in which you are persisting in. Inner conversations mirrors our imagination. To change the state, we must change our inner conversations. Shut off your past thoughts, which is a corrupt, and in your mind put on the new man, which comes through thinking from the end. Stop all the old inner conversations and start a new constructive inner conversations from that premises of the wish fulfilled. Inner conversations is the beginning and sowing of the seeds of future. Construct a sentence that implies the fulfillment of your desire starting from I am, such as I am rich, I am happily married, I am the most loved, wanted and desired person, and repeat it over and over again until you are internally affected by it. Observe your inner conversations. Do they match the premises of wish fulfilled? Through non-judgmental self-observation, find out where you are in the inner world by checking the premises of your inner conversations. The circumstances and conditions of our life are our inner conversations pushed out. When in imagination, you match the inner conversations to fulfilled desires you will be lead to a straight path that will lead you to your goal. And thus, you will realize that reality is nothing but your inner conversations pushed out. A persistent assumption of the wish fulfilled is means to fulfilling your desire. Dare to assume the wish fulfilled and carry on inner conversations from that premises and persist. We sometimes are totally unaware of our inner talking and therefore see ourselves not as the cause, but the victims of circumstances. To consciously create a circumstance, we must immediately shift our inner conversations to the premises of wish fulfilled. Right inner conversations is the first step in getting what you want. You must stop spending your thoughts and start investing them. Anytime we feel scared, misused, neglected, suspicious, worried, we are spending our thoughts and wasting our time. Thus we are incurring loss to ourselves. And, every time we are feeling the wish fulfilled, by having inner conversations from the premises of wish fulfilled, we are investing our thoughts, thus gaining a profit for the future, as we all know that we are the God of our reality. So, the mind of God are the inner conversations of a man. Change your inner conversations and your perceptual world changes. Whenever inner conversations are in conflict with desire, inner conversations will always win. Because inner conversations always objectifies itself. Once we start accepting thinking or having inner conversations from the end, as a creative principle, then we are redeemed from the absurdity of ever attempting to achieve our objective by merely thinking of it. Construct all the end from the premises of fulfilled desires. So, subscribe if you like this video. Happy manifesting!